Hello and welcome, or as we'd say in Wales, Croeso. My name is Gareth, and this is the very first of a brand new series of Let's Play Lord of the Rings Online, or Lotro. And we are going to go uh, straight into character creation, because we're going to have a brand new character. Um, we are on my second lifetime sub account, uh, which sadly has up to now been just my sort of bank mule, and I suppose you'd call it my character name reservation service account. Anyway, we're going to jump right into character creation. Um, I'm assuming that most people uh, watching this will have either played the game, if not, you really should, it's amazing, uh, or have at least watched uh, some uh, other series, parts of other series. Uh, there are some great uh, character creation uh, videos out there. I'm not a huge one for um, you know, customizing uh, so what I'm going to do is just uh, I, I'm going to play with an elf uh, lore master and I'm going to go with the regular wood elf as opposed to the high elf uh, because uh, high elves get a penalty to both fate and, wi and will and will is the primary stat for uh, lore master and of course I know in game you can easily um, negate that uh, starting penalty. However, um, the Wood Elf has a... You can see down here the, diff, the starting bonuses and uh, penalties. It only has a, a, a penalty to Fate. And then, yes, Fate's important, but Will is uh, a lot more so. So we are going to... If, you, if you've not, by the way... Um, experience this. There are videos down here for each of the races. Uh, male and female is purely cosmetic, by the way. And um, again, for each of the classes available, there are videos. So if you have not played a class, um, I recommend watching it, you know, the class video at least once, even though they haven't been updated for quite some time. So we're going to just go ahead here. And as I say, um, it's only a few things that I that I ever do um, on character creation. The two things I'm really concerned with is the origin, the backstory of the character, where they're from, and I'm going to select this Wood Elf uh, coming from the Wood Elf realm of Mirkwood. I guess it makes most sense. I know some went to, to join Lady Galadriel in uh, in, in uh, Lothlorien, but uh, we're going to go here, and I'm actually going to be uh, making him slightly highborn. Um, I think we're okay with everything else. Uh, green eyes, no, we'll do blue eyes. Um, in the lore, it is only uh, highborn that um, have the sort of lighter golden hair, the like elasty kind of hair. Um, let's see very quickly are there any hair styles that jump out to me I think seven I've looked at but yeah not quite a hippie elf but um, we'll do that he looks suitably feminine okay so the important thing for me uh, is the name and as he is a uh, wood elf he's going to have the name here I know this would actually work well perhaps even better for High Elves. Um, Hiraith is a Welsh word, meaning, well, there is no direct translation uh, I've from Welsh into English or any other language. Uh, I've heard it uh, translated as longing or yearning, and, and I suppose you can look at it at that. It's not quite that. It's like gemütlich, which in from German in, into English kind of means sort of cosy or comfortable or whatever but it, it's not um, so we're gonna go ahead with that uh, and the reason I chose the Welsh uh, name with the wood elf is because uh, Tolkien professor Tolkien himself of course uh, based elements of Sindarin off of Welsh whereas the Quenya the high elven is uh, based off more uh, of the Finnish language which I cannot speak I can say thank you and that's about it uh, Kitos or Kiti. Anyway, we're gonna no more rambling, straight into the game. And the um, 
The idea behind this is I want to be as much of a completionist as possible. However, uh, that's not really going to work in an MMO. But we're going to While give visiting a try. the refuge of Athelion under the care of your master, you find yourself in the midst of a brutal attack by greedy dwarves of the Dowerhand family. Their king, Scorgrim, thirsts for power with an unnatural lust, and you are in the eye of the storm. Uh, sorry about that. That was a miss uh, key press. And what I've got here is um, I'm trying to move some of the uh, things that I have around here. Uh, but I guess the only one I'm really going to move is my companion short bar, uh, shortcut bar to there. I think everything else, unlike, for example, with the uh, warden, there isn't too much to worry about. And a couple of other bits of housekeeping. Uh, I'm going to move my skills around with Friend of Bears. I'm going to have... Uh, just put that out of the way there. Uh, this is... A, uh, a tactical skill. Uh, is one of the signs that they use. That would, uh, So we're going to put that perhaps at the... Uh, the alt there. And then we'll bring these down there. So, looking at these, we have a, a very basic me melee attack, a staff strike. Doesn't do, it, it you know, if, if the enemy comes on you and he's got a little bit of health left, you can whack him with your pointy stick. Um, we have lightning strike, which is kind of powerful, but uh, it's quite a long recovery time. A gust of wind, which is nice, slows enemies. And uh, the Burning Embers, which is a basic uh, ranged attack, which is nice. Anyway, uh, let's look at a couple of other things very quickly. Uh, this is a new character, but as you saw, is not a new account. So that there are um, rewards from expansions or lifetime uh, rewards, etc. Uh, anniversary awards. So we're going to equip this Ring of Agility. And we're also, in common with pretty much every MMO and RPG in general, the color of, the, of an item's name is going to show you how rare it is. So we're looking at this one, which as you can see as well, also has better stats. Um, it's a rarer, so we're going to equip that. We can also go in and um, change the, the way the bags are I like to have just one bag, and uh, you can do this or not. Um, just very briefly do this. I'll rearrange the uh, the items. I'm not that OCD uh, later on. So what I did was I came up to this. Um, on the main bag, you'll see these little icons here, and the second one allows you to uh, rearrange your bag. So, nothing else is important. You have some titles and things like that. So let's go ahead and speak with Lord Elrond. There are these pop-ups, um, which I'm not going to read or look at. Um, and I would suggest if you want to, you can either pause the video, or far better is to go ahead and download the game and actually play it. It's, it's free to play, and uh, there's nothing quite like it. It's an amazing game if you like Lord of the Rings lore, or if you, you know, uh, even the movies, you may feel a little bit lost, though, because um, this does a far better job of recreating the world than perhaps Peter Jackson did. Uh, okay, you can start the flame war now. Okay. You cannot tarry here any longer. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit silly, and that is I'm going to try and voice as much of the, uh, the quest... Uh, dialogue and uh, text as possible. I'm not going to voice the uh, quite large amount of floating text over uh, individual uh, characters as the game progresses, but I will try and do this. So the instance is the refuge of Athelion. 
You cannot tarry here any longer, he writes. Scorgrim's forces are upon us, and I fear they make straight for this library. He seeks the relics of Ethelion, though I do not know what a dwarf could want with them. These relics were once coveted by a gaunt lord of old. I think the fool believes he can become immortal if he acquires them. Okay, so we... As I say, I'm not going to uh, voice all this stuff. Oh, and I and there's one thing I did not do, and which, again, bear with me. A little bit of time spent doing this now is going to save a lot of time in the future. Uh, so I've gone, I hit the escape to bring up the, uh, the game menu. I've gone into options and the UI. I'm very, very vain, so... Um, I can put my character's name up there. Now, we'll scroll all the way to there. You can see all these. You could pause the video again in the game. You could check things out. I'm just coming down to this at this point. Just the always loot all. Just makes life easier. Uh, if you're in a group, you can always switch that off. Um, I believe it, it's controlled by the group leader. So we're going to loot this satchel. A little... There we go. So, instead of having the satchel open, the container come up on screen, that everything in there has gone straight to my inventory. And, uh, in fact, there's only one thing. So, we had a simple pointed stick. We now have a wood pointed stick. Um, for those of you who uh, know your Monty Python and may remember the um, self-defense with bananas sketch where one of the uh, one of the students wanted to defend himself against a pointy stick and John Cleese was not happy with it. Anyway, um, if you can find that on YouTube or somewhere, it's very, very silly. Good. You are better armed. Okay. Good. You are better armed. Your master Talagan wishes to see you before you venture out into the fray. But do hurry, this place is not safe for you. And uh, Elrond takes time to explain about how you access your inventory and how you equip your weapons, which is, you know, for a uh, major character in the game, it's very kind of him to take that time out. So again, we have dialogue. And um, again, not going to voice it. Talk to you. Here I, my dear student, I wish I could let you stay safe within these walls, but Elrond tells me that Skorgrim makes straight for this library. You must survive the battle outside, I am afraid. I worry for you. Duel with me one last time, my friend, and show me that you are ready. It will ease my heart. Okay, so we are going to basically uh, have a quick little duel. I'm not going to call my bear, because uh, that's overpowering. So here we go. And he goes, with his pointed stick. Do you see the induction for the lightning is... Okay. It's very, very long, but it is pretty powerful. Okay, the ground is shaking. A great sound of clashing coming outside, so the, the battle is raging outside. Um... Again, let's talk to there Lord is no Elrond. Time to waste. Uh, there is no time to waste, Hiraith. Go outside with Talagan and see what can be done to stop Skorgrim from advancing. The Darhans cannot be allowed to take the Gaunt Lord's relics. I have vowed to keep them safe. I will hide the relic, then... Relics, sorry. Then I will join Talagan in protecting the library. Be safe, young law master. Okay. So, Talagan pops outside through the door. We're told how to get through doors. And, uh, okay, so again, just these pop-ups. This one basically telling you that anybody with a uh, ring over their head uh, is a quest giver. And if you have a flaming ring like the Master Talagan here, uh, I love the name Silvertongue, by the way. Reminds me of Lyra in uh, the Golden Compass. Uh, 
they are actually part it's actually part of the epic quest so you really should pay attention to those go here I this is where the storm will converge as Ethel Ben is down below. He will let you through the gate to protect what is left of this ref of their refuge. Of this refuge. Must learn to read slower and more accurately. Okay, so down I go. I think it might be time to call my pet out. And there's a lovely animation and here is Bear. Well, Okay, where are we going, Ethelben? Is it Ethelben or Ethelhain? I can't remember. Ethelben. Ooh, oh dear, what is that? That is a nasty old troll. And I do not think that that would be a good, good thing to fight. Yes, I agree with you. Let's go a different way. I uh, don't think level one uh, squishy lore master would have much luck there. Okay, so you're not coming with me? No, of course not. Up oh, and uh, there is... Okay, one of the things uh, we can do here is tell our bear to go fight the thing. Because that's what law masters do. They stay in the background as much as they can. There we go. And uh, try not to get into the fray. One of the nice things with this, is, again, is that um, you can uh, uh, bring these items from there. You can bring it over to uh, there. And let's see now. Here's another. So you hit the shift, and it goes straight into attack mode. A gust of wind. All right. So that survived. Again, um, so you gain a little bit of experience. Let's bring the lightning this time. Oh, and that would be called a one shot. Um, so I may switch my uh, keys, key bindings around, depending. I think Bear got that without me even touching it. It seems that they... Uh, it seems that the uh, recovery time for uh, the uh, some of these skills has actually improved. Okay, so we are now going down here. And... Uh, I think if we... Do we need to speak to this guy? I can't... Yes, we do. It's been a long time since I've played Vanen. this. So, we're still in the instance. And, uh... Dorongir... Says, uh... I fear for Ethelion. How much more can we withstand? And I hear that Skorgrim has not even shown himself yet. Which means the worst is yet to come. Well, that's right, because you're an elf, and the worst is always going to be worst to come. And uh, here we have... Oh dear. Uh, I thought we'd got rid of that troll, but uh, I guess not. Oh dear. And uh, we have some drama. Run, run away, but I can't because I'm stunned. Everybody seems to be stunned. Aha! Here is Lord Elrond to the rescue, as he does so often. And there. Okay, I'm still there. There we go. So we should follow Lord Elrond and Durangir. Wherever they're going. And again, you can see a little bit of uh, sort of blazing light giving us hope. And, um, that's Talagan facing a Skorgrim. That's not a good thing. What is he doing? I 
Oh my, he just sacrificed himself to prevent the evil Dower Hand leader Skorgrim from obtaining the uh, the relics that would might make him immortal. Okay, let's talk to Lord Enron. Ah, alas, Hiraith, you have lost your beloved lead master. You may blame me for the, his death. I could have saved him, but he bade me go to you instead. So it's your fault. Talagan was brave to spare your young life. Ethelion is ruined now. Talagan was not the only elf to die today. Skorgrim will trouble us no more. And the relics are safely buried, but it was such a needless battle. Evelion will fade. Yes, are you sensing a theme here? Because I am. The old refuge of Athelion lies abandoned, a ruined testament to the greed of Scorgreen Dowerhand. Six hundred years after its fall, dwarves inhabit the ancient halls in the mountains, and Elrond of Rivendell, sensing a threat, has sent his sons Elrohir and Eladan, along with a company of elves, to investigate. Apologies for that. The, for whatever reason, the, uh, the cutscenes always seem to be a little bit louder than anything else in the game. And I think um, we're now out of the... Um, basic new player instance and we're now in the uh, we're actually still in a tutorial instance but uh, there will be other players running around etc here and I think this is actually a good why are you doing that um, there are good um, place to stop one thing I again I forgot to do was to put the role-playing command on so that's just the slash command and RP space on and there you go, my nameplate has gone from the uh, Commoner Garden yellow to uh, white, which signifies as a dwarf. Ugh. Um, it goes, signifies that I'm now uh, willing to be playing in the uh, role-playing mode. Well, thank you very much indeed for watching this very first episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, you will tune in again to the next one. Hopefully we'll be up pretty soon. Uh, there is no set schedule. And, uh, I hope that the uh, to get at least one of these up a day uh, for the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, it may not be that, that quick. The best way to find out when a new one is uh, will be to subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would uh, tell me how much you enjoy this uh, series so far and uh, please feel free to leave a like uh, or, and also any comments you'd like to make please keep them clean I want this to be a, a, a family friendly channel um, anyway thank you once again for watching and I will see you shortly well not shortly because I'm not a hobbit but I will see you soon bye bye